Good morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the news of Camelot. Today is Friday, April 24th, 2020, and Flame and I were out earlier this morning trying to catch the sunrise, but it was raining. And it's going to keep raining, probably until about the middle of the day, and then it might clear up, which will be great. High of 63 degrees, and look out, dragons, it's going to rain a lot this weekend, so if you get a chance to get outside later today, we recommend it. All through today's show, Flame and I are going to be reviewing appreciation of beauty and excellence. An appreciation for what we have around us that is beautiful and that is excellent comes in the form of nature or certain skills or crafts or different things that we know we don't have the ability to do or to replicate. So throughout today's program, we're going to talk a little bit about what we appreciate that's beautiful and excellent. And we want you to listen to this first segment very carefully. Listen to the words that we use because we're going to have an activity very shortly. So one of the things that we appreciate is cardboard. Yeah, we do appreciate cardboard because 90% of everything that is shipped to us comes in cardboard. Eh? That's pretty cool. And even things like pizza. Sometimes we don't really appreciate the box that the pizza comes in. But cardboard is all around us. And we brought three little examples here. We brought a paper towel roll. And a paper towel roll can be recycled. The paper towels can't be recycled. But I know that we have visited the makerspace in the library. And there are lots of these. And I know that we save them. So no excuse not to recycle or save paper towel rolls. And then you get things like this, dragons, that are pretty common. And they even have a recycling symbol right there on the bottom. Some of the packaging and cereals, or this is a pasta box. We break it down so it's easier to put in your recycling container. And then you recycle it. And that's it. And then common boxes like this. right? They might be shipped to us. There might be a present. Or there might be something very important. But it's more sturdy when it comes in a cardboard box. And then we break it down and we recycle it. So dragons, if you recycle one ton of cardboard, one ton of cardboard every year, you're going to save, let's see here, you're going to save 17 trees, you're going to save 9 cubic yards of landfill space, which is basically the size of three dolphins, huh? you're going to save 4,400 kilowatts of electricity, and you're gonna save 46 gallons of oil. That's incredible, just by recycling. And you might say, well, Flame, that's a lot of cardboard. Well, on average, it takes two houses to recycle one ton of cardboard every year. And I know that we have a lot of houses around here, so let's do our part. We'll try to recycle as best we can and make a conscious effort to continue Earth Day even past this week. Phonics. And we wanted to keep it simple this week, dragons. Instead of getting too complicated with compound words or words that begin with PH, we're simply going to identify words that have two syllables. Syllables mean sounds, right? So flame, one syllable, doesn't count. But cardboard, not only is it a compound word, but it has two syllables. Cardboard. Now, you might remember that we said, listen for some of the words we've already used, all right? And we might list them. So some words that we already said in today's program that have two syllables are what, Flame? We said gallons, right? When we were talking about gallons of oil. What else did we say? We said pasta, like the box that it comes in right? We said paper. That is two syllables. Let's think of two more. What else have we said already? We've said sunrise. Another compound word with two syllables. And what else? I think we said uh, cubic. 
per cubic yards of landfill space. And if you know your syllables, dragons, you can write with a lot more rhythm. You can feel like there's purpose to poetry and certainly rules for things like haikus. But you don't want to sound like there are too many syllables in words, and you don't want to sound like you're using too many one-syllable words. You want to expand your vocabulary so it sounds fantastic. Oh boy, oh boy, dun da 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 it's time for the birthday box. And I know we've got some birthdays, Flame, because it's Friday, which means we're going to celebrate birthdays today, and we're going to celebrate birthdays that are tomorrow. So here we go. Today, we have two birthdays, Flame. We have Frankie Ramirez in Miss Streeton's class. Happy birthday, Frankie. And we have Lean Alshari in Miss Schaefer's class. All right, happy birthday, Lean. And then tomorrow, we have Ryan Samoa Contreras in Miss Santos class. Happy birthday, Ryan. And, and Flame, a special shout out to my sister. Her birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Krista. We hope that it is magical and it doesn't rain a lot, wherever you might be. So now, the mail! Let's check the mail, Flame. I've got a good feeling about today. Alright, we've got a letter, and we've got Old Faithful. So let's see here. Dear Flame, I want to thank you for doing the news each morning. We feel like you are part of our family. Be safe and thank you again. Sincerely, William and the Osterhaus family. Well, William, that's a really nice thing to say to Flame. You hear that, Flame? It's like you're part of a family. Not just our family, but a specific family because of all the stuff you do. And Miss Flaherty. Miss Flaherty is going to close out our weekend with some words of wisdom. Hi, dragons. I have two challenges for you. Okay. One for today and one for this weekend. First, today. I am making this Random Acts of Kindness Friday. I wrote the community and I think that you might have some ideas about maybe writing to someone that you haven't written in a while, or inviting a sibling to play a game, or doing a chore without asking. Think about it and do your best to make it Random Acts of Kindness Friday. Second, this weekend, I want you to keep a beauty log a beauty log. When you believe you see something that is beautiful, write it down. Feel free to tell us about it over the weekend and share on Monday. We'd love to hear what you come up with. Lots of love, Miss Flaherty. All right, Flame. So, remember when I cleaned up your breakfast bowl and I didn't ask for anything in return, right? I usually do that, but I don't say anything until today. That's a random act of kindness because I want to help out my buddy. I didn't ask for anything in return, but that's just an example, right? And you might make sure that a sibling feels included. That's another random act of kindness. But this beauty log thing, I think we're on to something. I think Miss Flaherty is really thinking hard about making sure we appreciate what we have. And Flame here is on the same page with Miss Flaherty, and Flame made his own beauty list. And Flame, may I read what you have on your beauty list? I can? Okay, thank you. And so this is an example, Dragons, of what we want to hear from you over the weekend. So this is Flame's beauty list. Alright, so Flame says, my bird feeder, especially when there are a lot of birds. A full moon. Connection. When I swoop into the lake and grab a tasty fish. Yeah, when I see my neighbors swoop into the lake and grab a tasty fish. Because you're happy for them, right? That's nice, Flame. Anyone that plays ice hockey. Okay, so can you clarify that? Oh, so you're saying that you don't know how to skate, and so you couldn't imagine skating and holding a hockey stick and passing a puck and shooting at a goal. Yeah, I, okay, yeah. Definitely appreciating excellence. And all doctors. That's right. We do appreciate all doctors. That's a great list. So a bird feeder, especially with birds, a full moon, when he gets tasty fish in one swoop, when he sees his buddies get tasty fish in one swoop, hockey players, 
and doctors. Great list. Appreciating the beauty and the excellence of those that are around us. And dragons, you don't have to show it in the form of art, but I wanted to show you two things that are in our house because beauty and excellence can look like a lot of things, right? This is a painting that is painted from our friend Chelsea, right? And it is a depiction of something beautiful in nature. A cabin in the forest, a focus on a tree branch, just something that took a lot of time, that took a lot of detail and attention to detail, and we're really proud of it, and it hangs in our house. Another thing that hangs in our house, dragons, is this. And this is a little bigger, but appreciating the skill and the art and the artistry of someone that is really good at basketball, maybe the best basketball player ever to play basketball, doing things that we could never do or even imagine, right? This is in our house. This is one of my very, very favorite pictures. Oh, sorry, Flame. This is one of my very favorite pictures. Sorry, buddy. And appreciating what Michael Jordan and people of his talent can do. You can notice that in your home. You can notice it on TV. And then share it with us. We'd love to hear what you appreciate. We'd love to hear the excellence that's around you, things that are beautiful. Make a list. Let us know about it. And please, we'd be happy to read it on the air. We just want to know what's on your mind. Appreciation of beauty and excellence means that you value so much, and we want to hear from you about it. Finally, dragons, it is Friday, and we want to spe spend a special thank you to all the people that keep things beautiful in our school and in our hospitals and in all the parks, and that's all of the custodial workers and the custodians and the landscapers. Because you know, Flame, if they didn't go to work every day, what would happen? Things would get too long or they would overgrow and they would look kind of dirty or they would look like they haven't been taken care of in a while. So we want to spend a special thank you for all the custodians. Mr. Van, Mr. Tran, and the whole crew here at Camelot, we are very fortunate to have you in our corner and all the schools and all the buildings that have their custodians and their landscapers going to bat for them. Thank you. We really appreciate it. So on behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Salerno, and on behalf of the entire Camelot community, we hope you have a wonderful weekend, Dragons. Stay safe, stay dry, and we can't wait to talk to you next week. Take care.